Here are 10 things not to DIY for your wedding. Avoiding doing these items yourself is gonna save you stress for sure, but it might also save you money. First is your hair and makeup. It's tempting to try to do this yourself and save money, but you're gonna be photographed a lot. Having a professional means, one, that your hair and your makeup are gonna hold, and two, it'll probably look a little better in the pictures. And of course, you do need to do a trial run to make sure you really like how your hair and makeup are done. And don't just look in the mirror, take some pictures, look at them, make sure you really like it. The second DIY to avoid is setting up your ceremony and your reception. You are not gonna have time, so you're probably gonna rush to complete it and things are gonna get missed or sacrificed. The next one's table linens. It is also tempting to buy linens to save money because they do cost about the same to buy as they do to rent. But you have to take into consideration how much time it's gonna to take to press that linen. Also, if you are ever gonna really wash those linens and have a place to store them. I think renting linens is the way to go in almost every scenario. I also don't advise doing DIY gifts for your wedding party. The only exception is if you have a craft or an artistic skill where you can create something of value for your wedding party. You don't want to experiment with a new craft or a gift and you know, wind up having something that looks unfinished or sort of elementary for this gift. Another item that is pricey to rent is lighting but it's pricey because the setup and keep up is expensive. When rental companies set up these beautiful string lights, they do it without the bulbs in. So they set up the wire first and they go back and put in each bulb. If you DIY this, allow for a big chunk of time to do it right so you aren't spending your savings on new bulbs. Also account for the proper machinery to reach the heights that the lights need to be strong. I actually had my husband do this on a ladder once and I'll never do it again. It was so scary seeing him up that high. You know, I just really learned my lesson about it. Just as you should avoid setting up your ceremony and your reception, also avoid cleaning it up. That includes moving decor from your ceremony to your reception or picking up chairs at the end of the night. Hire someone to help with this and just enjoy your party till the very end. Many couples are DIYing their flowers. If you go that route, I encourage you to consider hiring a florist, at least for your bouquet. It takes the pressure off getting the most photographed floral right. The other floral might be a little imperfect and nobody will notice it. Next is transportation. Don't plan to drive yourself from your wedding. If a professional transportation company isn't in your budget, plan to use Uber Black or Lyft. Also, don't rent a car. You don't wanna get tied up parking a car or driving it on the wedding day. Next is the bar. Some couples are in the food and beverage industry or do their research and they actually can do this and save money. But more often, too much alcohol or not enough is purchased and it's a pain to move it to and from the wedding. One workaround is to include this service with your caterer and then only supply a specialty liquor or wine yourself. Then you don't have to worry about mixers or garnishes or bar supplies or ice. And my last no DIY suggestion is ceremony music. Hire at least one musician or have your DJ in charge. Often couples want to plug their iPhone in to a speaker and then just have someone hit play. So much can go wrong with this. Notifications come through your phone, passwords are forgotten, Wi-Fi is not available, the person cueing the music gets it wrong. The ceremony is more formal, even when it's not a traditional ceremony. And there are lots of nerves. So it's a good place to spend a few hundred dollars and outsource it. DIY can be a huge money saver, and in some cases, it's fun to create parts of your wedding yourself. I hope this video gives you some directions about which areas might be the best for DIY. Thank you for watching and happy wedding planning.